Never been a rapper in my caliber. I'm talking veteran legend, even an amateur. Since hunting season, ain't no one back to my scavenger. Sleeping on the kids at that blanket go over banister. Oh, California slam and I'm acting up. They say the best rapper from Compton and see your Canada. I don't take it personal because I know. Hello everyone, this is Tia Noel here to show you how I constructed and put together this wig. It is a 13 by 4 10 inch frontal and a 12 and 14 inch bundle. And I put this together and ah, oh, I have beat these edges into submission. Okay, murder scene. Stay tuned and you'll be able to see it. My custom wig from start to finish. Paso uno, bleach the knots. So a couple of things that you're going to need. Um, you're gonna need your tent brush and comb, a plastic mixing bowl, your powder lightener, and also your protective gloves, along with some 40 developer. And um, some people don't use it, but I like to use a measuring beaker. It's beat into my head from you know doing hair for so long. But you wanna mix the consistency to be pretty thick and you want to be careful when you're mixing it this video is sped up but i'm really going really slow because if you mix too fast this mixture will get the powder will get everywhere and in your nose i'm adding more because again i want that thick consistency and this is how it is when you put the uh, product onto the lace frontal you want to be really careful and be really gentle so that you're not pressing the bleach into the knots to where it seeps into the hair um, and you want to be careful at the back which I had a little oops but I fixed that I put the foil on too tight but voila there you go and I do it a little darker because I use a coloring cream to make my skin darker because without it I'd be kind of pale I think Pasados. You want to tweeze these edges. Now this is nothing that you guys haven't seen before. Um, it's a billion YouTube videos on it, but you're just going to tweeze, tweeze, tweeze these edges. Um, and you just tweeze it to your liking. Now if you want to see a video where I do it specifically on tweezing my edges, let me know. But this part you pretty much already know. So I'm just going to speed through it. Paso tres, coloring the bundles. Now, for this you will need, or what I use is 20 developer. I also use my detangling brush. Thanks, Chrissy Cousins. I love this brush. Thanks for recommending it. Um, you'll also need your silicone whisk. You're gonna need, again, the mixing bowl and the tent brush. And you're gonna have your shampoo and conditioner, your protective gloves. You're gonna need color. I have natural black that I'm coloring the hair. And you're also going to need some foil, some aluminum foil. Good old aluminum foil. It never fails. And then I use my measuring beaker again. I told you I'm addicted to this thing. And then you're going to need your bundles. Now I'm only coloring one of the bundles. Um, so if you see, this is like a natural brown color. This is the color that it came in. And I'm not feeling it at all. It's pretty blah to me. Uh, my own natural hair is not even that color. I don't think so, but I'm coloring it this natural black color. If you can see it's darker, um, I like the natural black. I'm putting them side by side. You can see on the left side is the natural black and on the right side is the color that it came in, the natural, which is kind of like a number two. And I don't like that. I don't know who wants hair color in a number two. We're gonna start with this bundle. This is actually the only one that I'm coloring. I colored the other one off camera. I'm just mixing the color with um, equal parts and just mixing it in with the measuring beaker. I'm gonna go pretty fast with this part because you guys know how to color again I can do a video on just color and I'm not gonna do the tedious process I'm just gonna pour it on there and kind of work it through with my hands um, and just fold it over because um, I don't really have time to do that I have a client and so I don't have time to do that but this works just as well I'm going to be put mixing it in and make sure and it gets an all part using the detangling brush and mix that in and put it in some foil and let it sit for about an hour and then I'm just gonna rinse it out um, you guys know how to wash once again if I do a video specifically on color then I'll you know make sure I get all the parts in but I'm just using the shampoo and conditioner to get all of the color out to get it ready to install Paso cuatro, sewing the closure to the wig cap.
You're gonna need a elastic band, a needle, and a thread, along with a spandex dome cap and a 10 inch 13 by four lace frontal. Right now I'm just putting it down, setting it in place, making sure it's where I want it to be based on the measurements that I did with the cap. Putting some water on it just to prevent flyaways and me sewing the hair, uh, like little flyaways onto the hair. But this step is really quickly. My main goal is to make sure that it's not bunching up because I want it to be as flat as possible. You see that little purple down there. What that is, is this wig head is um, not for me. It's generally for my clients, so it's too small. I have a big head, so I am a 23 and this wig uh, head is a 22. So I put the purple underneath there and I'm being careful not to sew that fabric, um, that purple fabric onto the spandex dome with the hair. So that's what you see me doing when I'm when and in the beginning. Now what I've done is I've used some sewing pins to sew this down and then I'm using the crossover method to sew this down in double bundling. I like to double bundle because when I do that, it makes the hair have more body. That's a little trick method that I use. Um, I'm pretty sure other people use it, but that's what I've found is that when it's heavier at the bottom, you have more body in the hair. And so that's why I doubled it over. But this is going to go pretty fast. You see the markings on the wig cap. What I've done is since a spandex dome is kind of just straight across, it's no real wig, wig cap. Um, I've marked it to where my edges are, where my ear is, where the back of my head is, where my nape is. And so you see the markings that I did with a white pencil to be able to tell where I need to sew everything down. Now what I'm doing right here is I am um, separating the bundles to be able to start a new row. So I I have separated them and then I'll start uh, the row and then cross it over so I can get that double bundle again. But there's those X. X mark the spot. That is where I'm sewing that in. Now, um, what I end up doing, honestly, because I ended up changing my mind. Uh, when I do my client's hair, I generally will use a uh, spandex dome cap or whatever they choose to use. But I liked for this wig, I wanted to use a netted cap instead of the spandex dome cap. So you're going to see that I changed over um, in this process. I actually took everything down, cut all the thread out, and I started over. See, there's that um, cap that I talked about, and you see underneath that purple fabric to make it a little bit bigger. I didn't want the wig to be too tight, especially since I'm gonna be using an elastic band. And here you see me using these sewing pins to hold the hairs down so I can make sure that it's straight and how I want it to. And pretty much from here, it's kind of routine. Lead not, preach one. Leave none. I said it's preach one, leave none. Preach one, leave none. I said it's preach one, leave none. Preach one, leave none. I said it's preach one, leave none. Preach one, leave none. Remember when I was telling you that I made a mistake that I had to fix? I don't fix it in this video, but if you can see there at the lining of the frontal, um, the hair is that brassy color from me bleaching it. I was watching BFG when I was doing my frontal and um, I just didn't pay attention and I put the foil on too tight, or I'm not gonna say too tight, I pressed a little bit too hard in that area so it kind of got through and seeped through the hair, but I fixed it later on. Not in this video, because I just didn't have time. Now what you're gonna see is I'm just completing uh, the wig and then what I like to do just to get rid of any flyaways when I'm trying to construct it because I don't like to use a lot of products. I like to put water on the hair just to get the hairs to lay down flat and go where I wanna go, where I want them to go versus using um, any type of product like hairspray or mousse. The less amount of products that you use on your wig, the better. But there it is, the finished product. All done. So here you see, um, I put a little bit of curls in here just to kind of uh, put the wig on display. And then I'm taking off the wrapping strips that I used to hold down the got to be glue. Green to the king like a mondo. Everybody in my circle go a hondo. Green through the city, a bad girl with me. Everything good, everything great. You know, I had to take a minute. I had to take a minute. 
So what you'd see me doing here is playing with and fondling the hairs on the edges because I put the got to be glued down and I set it with the wrapping setting styling strips and so I'm just pulling them out so everything can look more natural and then just kind of playing in it it's not that many curls but I'm just playing in it to get it together but come on people that hair is growing out of my scalp I believe it and I'm the one who did it that's pretty cute okay and there are those edges again I like them to do them thinner because it makes it look more realistic my real edges aren't that thick so unless you're Teresa from the Housewives of New Jersey your edges are not that thick just saying next year I'm a hammer on camera huh? wait I'm gonna set the CD on fire repping in the retros it's like I'm coming from another planet huh? I step up in the room and then they panic huh? so this is the finished product this is the hair and um, I'm happy with it so far um, I can't really say if I mean because I just constructed the wig and I can't really say if um, I like it or if I love the hair right now I like it right now it's cool hair um, but here's my lace I didn't really lay it down that much because I'm about to go to choir hair so and I don't want to um, make it like come up I don't want to put a bunch of glue on it but this is the wig this is the finished product and I have my little baby hairs on the side because I didn't really glue it down well I didn't glue it it was got to be glued so this is what it looks like so um, for those who have asked me and what I did is I plucked it that's the pluck you can still kind of see the line because I haven't really put it put any baby hairs down here but basically that's that's it so I can pull it back um, if I pull it this way I wanted it to be realistic so I plucked it more right here than I did in other places I don't even know if I want to say what hair it is if I do decide to say it it'll be in the description box but I don't know if I want to be advertising folks hair this is mainly for me to talk about my abilities those are the edges see they're plucked to capacity but like I said I didn't really glue it down that's it that's how I wanted it I didn't want it to look like frontal but now I gotta go because I have things to do and, but this is all so see you next time be good bye